Welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Thank you very much for joining me today. We are going to expand our residential area into this new spot over here on the left that we're just coming past. It's uh, in the middle of all the industries and we're going to be hooking up our monorail. We're going to be hooking up access to all other parts of the city and uh, yeah using some different mass transit options as well i'm very excited here we go this is the area this area here that's all bare nothing in it's got some industry over there those buildings it's got this new area that we built over here which you've hooked up with the monorail that's leading up to our all industry yeah you know where we are um also thank you very much for all the names that were suggested for my factories in the comments of the last video by the end of this episode i'm going to pick out the best ones for naming our lemonade factory and our car factory as well i've seen some really really good ones some funny ones as well so i do appreciate that so let's enjoy the rest of this ride and then we're going to get to building and we're almost there, actually. Here we go. We're coming into our ore area. Aha! There we go. And that's the end. And it will turn around and go back. Nice. So let's just jump out of that view there. One little change I've made here, just while we're here. Um, this factory here kept running out of metals. So I've just added in a little small warehouse with some metals there. Put that on fill. And then over here, these things are never running out, which is great. Our warehouses we set up last time. Look, filled, 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 all filled to the brim. Excellent. Constant stream of money. We're over 7 million tea leaves, which is good. We've got a huge demand for... Uh, residential and commercial as well so here we go this is what we're going to build in here we can see we need more people people are uh, buildings are complaining factories are disappearing they need more workers and just have a quick look at that actually yeah i need more highly educated workers mm, at some point we are going to have to build a university we shall get back to that so this is where we're going to build now what i would like to do first of all is expand our monorail so I'm going to grab this road here and I'm going to upgrade this one because it is a four lane road that runs along here. And this is going to lead us all the way up to, is that going to go okay? Yeah, this is going to lead us all the way over to here. Uh, this is our festival area and I would like people to be able to get into here. Now we do have, of course, our toll booth. So anybody coming into this area has to go through the toll booth. They pay us a lot of money. And you can see people are turning up now. Look at that for a festival that's going to be happening. 10th of the 1st. So, yeah, they've got <laughs> 10 days to go. Well done for turning up early to get your spot. So, we want a place for them to be able to get in and out. I'm thinking, can we just attach a little tiny road off of here? Um, so, let's grab this asymmetrical road. And I'm going to see whether, let's just see, if we go with this one, we sort of go under there like that. I'm going to turn that one round. There we go. Switch to a normal road. And then, nope, we didn't want to do that. Let's go for curve again. Up there. And then whether I can just fit a little monorail station in there. Uh, monorail station with road. Yeah, that could be good. We attach that to there, like that. And then can we attach these two? Or is that going to be too weird and hawky balky? Let's just have a look. It lets me do it, okay. I mean, that's not too bad. It's a bit of a slope going up. But we could sort of negate that a bit by using the Move It mod to grab that. Setting that the same height as this. So that's now all level. And the slope instead is over here. So if we get the move it mod again, and we'll grab that, that, and that. And then we'll do a line slope objects. Yeah, so that lifts that a little bit there. That still gets under here okay. Then it winds its way up and comes up to here. And that's just built up around the rocks. I think that looks okay. Excellent. So we can now have that there. And then when they come here, they'll get out. And they will jump in their cars and have to drive through the toll road, which is what I want to do. Um, that's good. And then if at any point we want to add any stops into this area here, we can do that too. So let us connect that. Yep, doesn't mess up with the marks on the road. Fantastic. And we'll come back to the stops and the things in a bit. I'm not quite sure 
what we're going to do with that. Now, in our hub menu, we do have this one here, the monorail bus hub. Let me have a quick sip of tea. Which I'd like to use. I've been, oh, I've been half sort of thinking about using the metro. I'm going to save the metro for somewhere else. I am going to use metro. I've been avoiding it because I didn't want anything hidden underground. I, want, I, lo I love to see things. And I know there's above ground metro. But at the minute, we've got the monorail. We've got the buses. I think I'm going to stick with all of that. So we're going to use this one here, the monorail bus hub, as a central section with a city centre sort of in the middle here. But I also want to continue expanding this monorail before we do that over to here because we've obviously got this multi-platform end station thank you for all those comments so again all the people living in here and over here can get access in and out via this and we've got this spot along the side here which just looks perfect to me to add this one in right opposite the car park so if we do that and go straight across is that a problem no and then what i want to do is sort of run it off of here and along so that's fine there and then come along the back here hmm. okay let's just i want to keep that straight so if i get straight there straight there can i curve that in without this going out so far i don't know what we could do nope not that we can move this over let's have that right up to the end there we go that's fine and then we can grab this and we can go. Actually, I want a straight bit first. Let's have a straight bit first. And then we'll grab this one. Is that not going to... Have you not got the road guidelines on? We have. It's not doing it. Okay, let's just use me. Oh, there it is. There it is. I saw it. We'll go like that. That's fine. Straight in there. Straight down the back here. And again, anything we build in this area, we can have access to if we wish. And that can easily come off of there. That's fine. I like that. That's connected up okay. And that's all connected up okay. Good. Excellent. So let's mark out this little area in here. So first of all, I'm going to do a quick save. So just before I get into marking out this new area, have you seen the pinned comment in the video below? Yes, we're going to use this video as the start of Biffa Bingo. Now, I haven't quite ironed out all the different ways this is going to work. This is going to be our test run, I think. But I've got a list of words and phrases that many in my community and comments and on my Discord have helped me to put together. There's obviously some that I've put in there myself. And there's points attached to them, I think, depending on how often I say certain ones and that sort of thing. Uh, points are arbitrary, totally made up. <laughs> uh, but listen to the video. Every time you hear me say something that's on that list, I want you to give yourself the point. So this is relying on honesty. Um, it's there's no prizes at the end so you know um be honest with yourself if you hear me say something if you're not sure you can go back and listen again and i want to see how many points you get by the end of the video um i may even go through the video while i'm editing and see if i can pick out uh, what there is myself as well and uh, yeah see what the maximum amount of points is in the video we'll see i might do that but I'll be interested to see what you get. So let me know. Right. Yeah, let me know in the comments what your uh, what your points tally is. That'll be good. So we're going to have to build off of this road here. I'm going to stick to... Before I put all the monorail in, I'm just going to draw it in with this one here with the grass. It's a shame we can't upgrade this and have a grass one. So I might just sort of do it slightly differently, which we'll get to. Uh, we've got a junction there and a junction here. So I want to sort of go in the middle. So I'm going to come out there and I'm just going to like wang that right across here. This is my normal make things up as we go along, see what shapes we get type of design. This one here, actually, there's two junctions and right in the middle here seems to be right by this path. So that could be quite good. So let's come out here, connect those two up. And this is almost the sort of position where I wanted the square. So... If we then just go out that way and then go back out this way again, the one I just deleted. Yeah. That could actually work quite well. That could work quite well for where I sort of want the square. It doesn't have to be right in the center. That makes it more interesting, doesn't it? Um, shall we make this a square about? I think that might be a good idea. So we're going to use two-lane one-way road with trees. 
Let's do that. And then I'm going to come out. Which way round have I got these roundabouts going? Anti-clockwise. So I'm going to come out down here two sections. And we're going to go out two sections like that. So two sections, which is actually going to take it all the way to the end. Two sections. It's going to be a very big square. <laughs> Why is this one a different... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that isn't the same length, is it? Oh, I see. I know what's going on there. We'll, we'll change that. We'll make this two lengths of this road. There we go. And then it will match up. Excellent. So that's a nice big square. And then what I will do is delete these ones in the middle. Just wondering whether we can make another square in the middle. Just for sort of interest. Hmm. What do you reckon? What do you reckon? We definitely need the four lane road still going off the top here. So let's just add that back in. Like that. I didn't remove the trees. I get people asking me, why do I remove the trees that are underneath the road? It's just to save a few FPS. Because look, if I delete that road, the trees are still there. Um, sometimes I do it. Sometimes I can't be bothered. I might come back and remove those trees. We'll see. Let me have a quick think about what I'm doing here. Right, so in the middle, I want this hub. And that actually has got these roads built into it. So... What I'm probably going to have to do is, it's not going to be your conventional type of roundabout, it's going to have some roads in the middle. But I want that lined up with the top and the bottom. So if I do that, I've ended up with a weird road on top of another road, haven't I? Uh, how am I going to do that? If I use the move it mod and do that, and then delete that, and then use the move it mod and do undo... It goes back to where it was. Aha, big brain biffer. And then I can draw these in. And it's all lined up again. Okay, so we've got that in the middle. We've got a weird sort of roundabout now with the roads crossing this way. This is going to be a bus hub. So I'm just wondering whether to make these one way. I guess we'll see how that's going to go. And then if we grab our Bonnerail Road. And I'm pretty sure with Anarchy on, I can just draw those over the top. And we'll still get the grass. And it'll all connect up. Yes. Oh, it's got like flipping lights sticking up through it. Darn it. No, can't do that. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. Well, I'll tell you what then. I'll just change all of these to the normal monorail road at this one here. There we go. Yep. Don't get the grass underneath. I, I know there's mods that... You can monkey around with the roads and do all that sort of thing. But that's fine like that. So that connects over here okay. Uh, that comes in here. And then we've got our buses. Now the buses are going to be pretty busy coming in and out of here. But I will worry about that a bit later. Now this here isn't going to connect into the middle correctly, is it? So does that mean I should move this now off centre? So I can connect this monorail coming up here. Or shall we do something else? I think we'll do something else. So we're going to take this and draw it up like that. Then we're going to go like that. Then we're going to go like that. But then I'm going to remove that and that. That and that. And then we're going to get this. And go like this instead. We go there and there. There and there. Yes, I like that. And then we could do the same over here as well. I've got how far out did I go? I think I went out as far as that thing there, didn't I? Just so I can get these lined up the same. I'll draw them all in. And then delete that and that. That and that. Then use the curvy worthy. Bish bash. And as I say, bosh. Oh, I like that. I think that looks quite interesting. So it can come and go round, go out there. We could even... Ooh, 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 we have one-way monorail tracks. We could actually make this... A one-way system going... Yeah, they're all going the wrong way round. But let's just get them in first. If you look carefully, you can just about see the arrows. Uh, which way do I want to go again? <laughs> it was anti-clockwise, wasn't it? Yes, anti-clockwise. So we want them going up. So yeah, we'll change that, change that, change that. 
That's fine. That's fine. That goes up. Yeah, change this. Change that. Change that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. So we've sort of got a, a monorail roundabout. Oh, man, we're getting exciting now with the roundabouts. Now, can I... Let's just do a little bit of road, road stuff here. So if we grab our traffic manager, grab this one here. Let's do... Whoop, let's do the road first. So control, shift, and you can see it just highlights the square. So control, shift, left click. That will now turn it into a roundabout. So everything coming in is giving way. It's also does this sort of weird thing where it looks like it's telling the monorail also to give way coming this way as if it was a road. I'm not sure whether the monorail is going to do that, but I'm going to put that to just carry on straight through. So it's put give way for the roads coming on. Uh, give way for the roads coming on. And again here, see this one here, It's if that does do the same for the monorail, it's going to be the road and the monorail, which is a bit weird. We'll have to just sort of see what happens there. We know we can turn that one off. Uh, that one, I have to just see what happens. I don't think we can pick. Yeah, we can do it on here as well. But again, there's no way of separating whether it's the monorail or the road. So I'll tell you what, we'll just leave that as it is. I'll tell you what I could try. If I hold Control Shift and hover over that. Ooh, yeah, look. <laughs> it will do it on the monorail roundabout as well. But yeah, like I said, so going up here, it's going to make this go straight through and these two paws, it might stop the buses and cars underneath as well. So we'll have to see because ideally the monorail coming up here and giving way would be good. We'll see. We'll do that like that and see how it goes. Uh, this junction we've connected over here, we need to do control left click with that for dedicated turning lanes and set that for giveaway coming out. And then this road down here. So if you look at this arrow here, it's doing straight on and left. So control left click with this tool. And now we've got dedicated turning lane left and straight on. And then we use this one here to say give way coming out of there. Good. So that's given us the sort of basic infrastructure. We're going to build some things in there, have a park, do something like that. What are we going to do next? Okay, so I've been thinking what I'd like to do with this area. I'd like to make it a sort of focal point for this end of the city over here. Of course, we're going to end up expanding in different places as well. I'd like some tall buildings here that give us some effect. So I'm thinking about going with... Uh, the gherkin so let's pop that in so that's got if you have to zoom out a bit you can see that big green area of effect so that's going to cover pretty much anything we build down here um for nice bonuses for parks and things we have a look uh entertainment 100 in that area which is nice um and then also this one here oriental pearl tower in this corner here is that going to fit in or is that just going to be Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh, I can't get that. Oh, man, that is like... Oh, stop jumping up in the air. That is like sweeping past the building on either side. But I think that's going to be okay. If we need to, we could just move the monorail in a little bit. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. So there was those ones. Um, and then there was also... Oh, auto save. Quick sip of tea. Nice. Uh, there was also, where else was there? There were some other towers that I spotted. Not this one. This one here. So we've got transport tower, which nicely fits in. Let's have it this way. So it's facing towards the, facing towards the river over there. Yeah, very good. And then we need one more for over here, which was going to be, no, not Big Ben or whatever that's called. These are all too big. I've had a look at those. They're all too big. Observation tower. Yes. And I think actually I was going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to move the gherkin over here. There we go. And then we'll have the observation tower over there. Yeah. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. And then I think what I'm going to do is just sort out this and move it in a little bit. So it's not overlapping so much over there if possible. I'm
Okay, so what do you think of this little area here? Decided to do a little time lapse of me uh, filling it in with some trees and some park stuff. So I basically turned this whole thing into a park. Um, people can come and visit these, the Oriental Tower, Transport Tower, Observation Tower and the Gherkin. Uh, they can come and visit those for free. They are connected to the roads on the outside. But if they want to get into this hub... I mean, they can walk down the road, which I think a lot are going to do. But to get to any of the park stuff, they've got to pay to come in the the. Um, they've got to pay to come in the park, so it's not a total cheaty park thing. They can walk in and get to some stuff. I mean, if they really want to bypass the park gates, they can come down here and use some of these parks. That's fine. Uh, I don't mind that. I wasn't trying to make a cheaty park, but we're going to need a name for the park. So let me know what that is. And um, we're already making a little bit of income on that. That's nice. Um, I've set up my monorail now. So the one that comes down from up here that goes down to these areas comes and goes there, goes out there. So we've got a bit of a loop and it goes over to the festival areas as well. So it's covering all of these areas. And then as we build around here and get some more houses and stuff in, um, I will set up the buses. But yeah, that is that is pretty, pretty nice. So let me know of a nice, cool sort of park related tea name in the comments. And I really like I really like a monorail roundabout. I really like that. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, so I'm now going to go and check the comments and see what the top rated comments were for our names for our car factory and our lemonade factory, which have been spitting out the goods, earning us absolutely tons of money. So give me a second or two and I'll be back. Wow, flipping egg. There were absolutely tons of name suggestions. Um... Maserati was a good one. Bugatti, anything that ended in T, obviously you could turn it into T. Very close at second place was Tesla instead of Tesla. Tesla, however you pronounce it. Uh, I thought that was very good, and I thought that was going to be the winner, but then I scrolled through, and at number one, voted with over 200 and something odd votes, was Model T, which, of course, was the very first car by Ford. And that was suggested by Rick Holden. So, well done, Rick Holden. And this is going to be the Model T Car Factory. There we go. Fantastic name. I like that one. And then for the Lemonade Factory, um, lots of people came up with this suggestion. Um, but the most voted one was by the Atheist Paladin. And his suggestion was the Arnold Palmer factory because apparently an Arnold Palmer is half lemonade and half tea and this is a lemonade factory with a dash of tea I thought that was fantastic so the Arnold Palmer factory well done some fantastic name suggestions there I like those a lot <laughs> thank you very much so get your name suggestions in for this area if it's got sort of a monorail park some sort of relation and tea of course that would be fantastic so now is the time that you need to go through and put your points in the description for Biffa Bingo. Now, obviously, I have no way of checking 
um, whether you're being completely honest or not. So this is a total... You've got to be totally honest and play the game fairly. It's just a bit of fun. There's no prizes to win other than maybe a high five. But uh, just don't just don't look what other people have done and add another load of points on top and say, hey, I've got more. Enjoy the fun of the game. Go through the video. And every time you, you get one of the things that I put in the pinned comments, every time you hear me say one of those biffisms, oh, there we go. That's a good word, isn't it? I like that. <laughs> then you'll get the points that are assigned to that. It'll probably just be one point for each. It'll just make it nice and easier when you're, when you're going through. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what you get. Um, if I get a chance, I'm going to go through when I edit this video as well and see what I get. But let me know what you think as well. When you put your points down, did you enjoy the game? Um, if you've got any other suggestions for biffisms that I've missed, then let me know as well in the comments. And thank you very much for your continued support. Getting so close to half a million subscribers. Can you help me out with that if you're not subscribed yet? If so, that would be great. Have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you next week. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.